Hi guys, my name is Melissa, and I'm a graduate of University of Southern California, and I majored in business and cinematic arts. I came back to Korea about five months ago, and I'm currently studying to become an announcer. From now on, I'll be sharing any current issues and hot topics that's happening in Korea, so I'll keep you guys posted. First of all, I'll tell you guys some information about the difference between universities in Korea and in America. The major difference is that Korean universities, the first semester starts in March and ends in June, and second semester starts in September and ends in December. While universities in America, the first semester starts in August and ends in December, and second semester starts in January and ends in May. This year, both Korean and American universities are carrying out classes online due to Corona. So many of my international friends in the States, they came back to Korea and they took their classes online and they're now done with the semester. For American universities, all the graduation ceremonies were canceled due to coronavirus. Corona is not only affecting the schools in America, but it's also affecting the schools in Korea. Um, many Korean universities canceled school festivals and athletic competitions. I've never been to those festivals and I heard school spirit is amazing so I was looking forward to going it this year but sadly I guess I'll have to wait until next year. One important thing to note about Korean universities is that class enrollment period starts a week before the semester starts and if you want to take your credits in advance you can also take summer courses a tip that I could give you to enjoy your college life in Korea would be to get involved. Join as many extracurricular activities as you can and because this way it's best to make friends and learn about Korean culture and language. College life can be I guess similar whether you're in America or in Korea but I think it's best to enjoy your life in Korea as a college student. So if you have any further questions about any activities you can do in Korea outside of school or even inside school, then feel free to let me know and I'll keep you updated.